It is the 10th of the 12th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. We'll go ahead and get started on SOP.net. World food prices are likely to rise in the coming months in the wake of record-breaking temperatures and drought in major maize and soybean producing regions of the United States, Economist Day. It would uh, be the third spike in food prices in the past five years. Crop shrinking. Despite early predictions of record maize crops, estimates have plummeted after a string of record high temperature days and dry conditions stretch across the farm states of the Midwest. Quote, we need rain and it doesn't look like we're going to get it, says Iowa State University economist Dermont Hayes. And they have maps attached with photos. Uh, you can see the extent and the, the depth of the drought here in the continental United States. U.S. corn growers farming in hell as Midwest heat spreads. Uh, the worst drought since Ronald Reagan was president is withering the world's largest corn crop, and the speed of the damage may spur the government to make a record cut in its July estimate for domestic inventories. And again, tumbling yields will increase the price at the grocery store. Floods damage Russian grain export routes more damage to the food system. Floods that hit Russia's Black Sea coast have wrought chaos on major road and rail links to its main grain export outlet. But stocks at the port uh, are high and may delay any impact on exports, Trader says analysis said on Monday. So they have some back stock at the ports already um, that should cushion the blow. Earthquake damage Washington Monument may be closed into 2014. Uh, they're going to wreck scaffolding and cover the thing over and replace a bunch of anchor uh, brackets. And uh, different damage from when they had the, the shake back, what was that, a 5.4? Right underneath uh, the nuclear power plant. 45 foot deep sinkhole closes US 24 north of Leadville, Colorado. Uh, they don't have enough problems. Sinkhole nearly swallows car in Manchester, New Hampshire. And they have a video with that. A cooling trend calculated precisely for the first time. Uh, an international team that in includes scientists from uh, Joanne's. Gutenberg University has published a reconstruction of the climate in Northern Europe over the last 2,000 years based on the information provided by tree rings. And uh, they're talking about the increased shark encounters uh, along the coast of the United States. Here's one Aurora surprise over Canada. On July 9th began with a brief but beautiful display of auroras over North America. Quote, I had gone out to research gone out to search for non-lucent clouds, but instead I found these northern lights, uh, said Robert Snatch of uh, Rama First Nation, Ontario. The source of the display was not an explosion on the sun, but rather a fluctuation in the interplanetary magnetic field, the IMF. The IMF near Earth tipped south, briefly opening a crack in our planet's magnetosphere. Solar wind poured in and ignited the lights. More auroras could be in the offing. A CME that left the sun on July 6th might deliver a glancing blow to Earth's magnetic field on July 9th through 10th. And NOAA's forecasting estimate 25 to 30 percent chance of polar geomagnetic, geomagnetic storms uh, if and when the cloud arrives. I'm not even going to touch that one. You'll have to provide the link. Anyway, Hurricanes Daniel and Amelia continue to move away from land. Uh, we're now on the watchers. Tropical Storm Daniel strengthened and became the third hurricane over the weekend. And now a Tropical Storm Amelia has strengthened into the fourth hurricane of the season. These are all Pacific hurricanes. Tropical Storm Amelia formed July 7th as a tropical depression. Blah, blah, blah. And they're saying uh, both storms are moving away from... Um, land and Daniel is heading towards Hawaii but it's mellowing out. Uh, got a heat wave hits Taiwan. Unseasonably heat plagued portions of Taiwan on Tuesday. 
Uh, the capital of the island nation recorded a high temperature of 37.8 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the unusual high fell just short of the, Taiwan's all-time record. <clears throat> and uh, lightning strikes sends baseball players running for cover. <laughs> pretty, com pretty comic uh, video they got attached to that one. And two new M-Class flares and geomagnetic storms in progress. And that's the new Big Sunspot 1520 coming around the bend. And that's about all I want to cover today from there. Over to the RSOE. Of course, we have the heat wave um, reports out for multi-states. Pennsylvania, Washington, D.C., Missouri, Indiana, New York, Illinois, Michigan, Maryland, Wisconsin, New Jersey, Tennessee, Ohio, Virginia, South Dakota, and Kentucky. And all points in between, pretty much. Um, flash flooding in China. Flash flooding in North Carolina. And of course, the forest fires. Uh, and there's a biological um, report coming out of Canada. Uh, apparently, in the Northwest Tor Territory, way out northwest, uh, they were doing a anthrax um, flyover. They're checking for dead animals, and they found like 180 dead bison in this isolated area in the Northwest Territory. Um, they're saying the conditions are right for anthrax to take hold there, and these bison were, were picking it up through the dust when they take their dust uh, bass and stuff. So there's an alert up there um, for that. And uh, I will cover that ongoing. That was brought to my attention by a, a good friend of mine here. Thanks, Kaz. And uh, f finally today, let's just go ahead and go over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, e, e News. Professor in Japan blasts government and TEPCO. These are lies. They're absolute lies. And there's a video attached with that. Basically, Jacobs, we have a situation here where TEPCO and also the government of Japan knew that they had three full meltdowns the first week. They lied for months to people. They lied for two months. Uh, the reason they lied was to keep the world meltdown out of the headlines. They said that they said this is when they know the, the full core had melted all three of them past containment. These are lies. They're absolute lies. Uh, they tried to keep the word meltdown off the headlines. When TEPCO admits that there were three full meltdowns at Fukushima it's not a front page story anywhere anywhere around the world. That's success from their point of view. And they've done a very good job of uh, keeping the lid on Fukushima as far as in the world press headlines mainstream. So again, we confirm three complete and total past containment meltthroughs uh, at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. And these are the only ones that uh, we have confirmed. Uh, just in, fuel rod containers damaged at yet another uh, Japan nuclear power plant investigating from uh, 311 earthquake. This uh, fuel rod container at Onagwa, O-N-A-G-A-W-A -A -A plant found damage. This is a different company altogether. Um, they're saying... Uh, the utility recently used an underwater camera to inspect the four and a half meter high metal containers in a fuel rod storage pool. Is this a spent fuel pool or a fresh fuel pool? It found two centimeter long, several millimeter wide chips of the containers. Uh, it also found more than 12 places on other containers where pieces were missing. Such damage has never been reported at a nuclear power plant in Japan. Yet they're saying it's it's safe. There's no uh, radioactive release, and uh, insanity continues. Martin Sheen, uh, he's a longtime nuclear advocate uh, or a protester. No issue is more serious than nuclear, not just for the U.S. but the entire world. And he has a video protesting nuclear power. Uh, he's been at it for a very long time. Caldecott, I think we have. Some of the Fukushima plant workers exposed to very high levels of radiation have died. There is a cover-up by TEPCO and government, so we don't know what's really going on, and there's a video attached with that as well. Radiation con con 
contaminant radiation contaminated prefixtures such as Chiba near Tokyo should also start a serious health damage survey as soon as possible. And again, they're just covering it up. Mortor mortality rising in contaminated regions of East Japan, quote, very likely the number of cases of diseases and death increased associated with radiation, unquote. And uh, post mentioning leukemia get deleted, says Japanese man diagnosed with acute leukemia after 311. And finally tonight, I'm going to leave you with uh, Fukushima Diary Daily News. They've got a story, Fukushima Kid's letter to himself in 10 years. Quote, are you alive? It's far from being unusual that Fukushima Elementary School child writes a letter to himself in 10 years. Quote, are you alive? This is a land insane. What, what's that slogan of the De Democratic Party? Quote, life of the people is the highest priority, unquote. Stop joking. And um, TEPCO released 33 new pictures of um, the tsunami as it hit Fukushima Daiichi. I'll um, attach a little bit to that. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks. TEPCO released 33 new pictures of the tsunami as it hit the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Now I want you to pay attention to the to the ship leaving the harbor just as it happened. You can see it off over here now. And of course I will provide the links below. gone as the tsunami hits the plant. So again, let me adjust my camera here. Kind of play it like a little movie. Have a ship just leaving the harbor as the tsunami hits. And it looks like the ship was sunk by the main tsunami right there.